Prince Harry still appears confident and relaxed despite facing setbacks as he lost a high court challenge against the British government this week, a body language expert has said. The Duke of Sussex made two video appearances on Wednesday after losing his legal challenge against the Home Office over a decision to change the level of his personal security when he visits the UK. During the day, Harry recorded a video appealing for nominations for the Well Child Awards, and in the evening he made a surprise appearance on screen at the Sport Gives Back Awards in honor of Josh Boggy, a triple amputee Afghanistan veteran. Invictus medal, winning cyclist Boggy for being the personification of resilience. Josh, you are a truly remarkable human, the Duke said. There is no one in the world who deserves this more. You are the personification of resilience. Congratulations mate. It comes after the prince was joined by Meghan Markle in Canada to mark one year until the first, ever winter Invictus Games. The Duke of Sussex has served as patron of the Games since its beginning in 2014 when the first Games were held in London. Speaking on behalf of Beth Fairslots, body language expert Darren Stanton revealed Harry is deeply authentic and passionate about the project as he can relate to the Invictus competitors. Looking at the new video of Harry, Darren said the Duke of Sussex appeared extremely relaxed with no stutters, as he looked directly at the camera with great eye contact and pace. He also shared the tell, tale signs that prove Harry has developed huge amounts of self-confidence over the years, adding he speaks from the heart whenever the Invictus Games are mentioned. Mr. Stanton said, whenever Prince Harry is talking about the Invictus Games he comes across as deeply authentic. Has comfortable in his own skin because it's something he can relate to having served as a former soldier. He has a lot of connections with the veterans, both in the UK and America, so it's something he is deeply passionate about. As has so driven about the cause, he speaks from the heart. He is doing this piece to camera and likely reading an auto cue, but he still comes over extremely confident, there are no stutters, pauses or glances away. He is also looking down the lens of the camera, which tells us he feels confident and relaxed while speaking about the topic. He has great eye contact, pace and he is in speeding. When people are feeling nervous or unsure of themselves, the speed of their speech will usually increase or their voice will crack. However, Harry's tone is consistent and we don't see any of that. The expert added, Harry also displays open, palm gestures and isn't touching his face, indicating nervousness or being unsure. We no longer see him tucking his hand in his jacket for comfort, which he used to do a lot during these types of videos. This shows he has developed a huge amount of self confidence in the past few years. Overall, the video showcased an extremely relaxed and confident version of Harry. It's clear he has a deep passion and drive when it comes to the Invictus Games. It comes as the actual cost of security for the Duke of Sussex has been revealed, and it soars for every day he would have been in the country. A security expert exclusively tells the Mirror exactly what each element of his security would have cost from close protection personnel to bulletproof vehicles. The experienced security experts explained that a VIP like Harry needs four close protection personnel and two to three bulletproof SUVs or cars to protect him. The security detail would plan his routes and analyze threats before any appearances in public. They would also determine alternative routes and then provide security at events at a cost of up to £10,000 a day. Depending on the event location there would also need to be a day of venue slash event analysis and security detailing of the location, an expert from Titan Security Group tells us. All personnel involved would be ex-military working closely with Scotland Yard and other security agencies. Typical costs would be £120 per hour for CP personnel and £1,200 per day for SUV hire, plus VAT, so we are looking at a total cost of four CPs for a 12-hour shift, £6,912 per day and two SUVs at £2,880, with the total being £9,792 per day. 